Cooking is a skill that we probably all wish we were just a little bit better at. Um, so I've been asked to review a digital tray scale. Uh, so what this is, basically a tray that you put your items into and it gives you the weight in pounds and kilograms. Uh, as we can see, that the maximum weight is 11 pounds or five kilograms. Uh, it weighs using grams, fluid ounces, pound ounces, and milliliters, I think. Uh, the graduation, meaning how accurate it is, it's de accurate down to the gram, which is pretty good. It runs off AAA batteries, and it's equipped with four higher precision sensors. So they're basically saying this is a quality sensor that can uh, view a lot of, or register a lot of different fluctuations in weight. All right. Uh, so anyway, this is by a company called Dunley. Uh, seems to be great. I peeked at it really quick, and uh, I'm pretty satisfied with what's in it. So let's open it up and see what's inside. battery Turn the box all right so inside we get the actual scale uh, looks like some cardboard and to help space it out and we also get some triple a ba batteries that I dropped before and this is the scale so it seems pretty nice it comes in this little instruction manual that tells you how to operate it you know just some basic stuff I mean I'm assuming I could guess how this works but uh, yeah let's pop in these batteries and uh, we'll see how it goes from there uh, before that, though, let's take a look at this actual product. All right. Uh, first off, looks like there's a little bit of plastic film. I love peeling these off. There we go. Nice. All right. So taking a look at this, we have the on, off, and zero. And we can also change the settings in it. So just two simple buttons. That's really all that we need. All right. On the bottom, we got four rubber feet that kind of keep it nice and uh, firm when we put it down somewhere so it doesn't move. It can take quite a pressure before shifting. All right, and down there we also have the scale for the batteries. So let's pop these batteries in and see what this device does. All right, <clears throat> so I have the tomatoes uh, ready for the weight and I have the batteries in and I've also zeroed it out. So what happens is uh, with zeroing it out, if you press it while there's nothing in it, it waits a second because when you actually push on this, it actually registers some weight on it. You can see it jumping up and down. So by pushing the button, you want to give it a second to actually zero itself. Uh, we're going to leave it in grams for now, but we can cycle through these. So you can go to ounce, you can go to ml, go to pound ounces, whatever else you need for there. But I'm going to stick with grams because, well, it's pretty accurate and it shows off just exactly how accurate this device can go. And I'll show you the zeroing function as well and why you would want it in a little mixing bowl. So I'm gonna put in one tomato. I can see how much it weighs. This tomato weighs 178 grams. But let's say that I've added something. Let's say it calls for, you know, uh, 200 grams of tomato, or let's say 178 grams of tomato. Perfect, we've nailed it completely. But now we need to add something else. If I need to add another item, what I can do is I can press on off zero. It'll take it, whatever the weight is in there, and zero it. So if I actually lift it up, it'll show negatives. But if I put it back down, it'll go back right down to zero. And now what I can do is add a second tomato in, and it can show me what the weight of just that tomato is. Uh, when you're cooking and stuff, you know, it's nice to be able to mix things together. And then just to keep adding more, you know, zero it, find something else to add in, zero it again, find something else to add in, zero it in, again and again and again. So I'll take these out again, and we can zero it. And you notice that there was a slight delay because, like I said, when pushing the button, it adds weight. So let's switch over to ounces. And I'll toss in a couple tomatoes. And we have 12.85 ounces of tomato. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'm a fan of it. It's nice. It's simple. They're not really expensive. And if you see something that calls for pounds of item or ounces of an item or whatever else you need to put in, um, you know, it's, it's pretty good. So, like, this is... 12.8 uh, pound ounces, so it's 0 pounds, 12 ounces, and 8 uh, tenths of an ounce, I believe. I don't know much about the weight measurements too much, but you get the idea. So anyway, um, I like it. It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it gives a pretty good hand to anybody who wants to get into cooking. It's also very cute. You know, the colors are vivid. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I think it's like blue, purple, pink. Uh, oh, no, there we go. Uh, looking at the box, we have black, gray, red, blue, and green. I actually like the green the most because it looks like you're cooking like with uh, you know natural plants and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, hope you liked watching this. 
If you like it, I'll leave a link in the description for download. All right, thanks for watching.